Yeah, if the chickens can find our house hole, they can find our front porch eventually to poop on. Yeah, we got this fence in the nick of time. Yeah, this is our house hole. <laughs> what else do you call it? It's the house hole. The house hole. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying something else. Like, don't be a house hole. <laughs> Look, he pooped in my house hole. <laughs> He's got, yeah, you can do a poop in your house hole. <laughs> poop in my house hole. So welcome back to another episode of Roots on Earth. And today we're gonna to be putting up some poultry netting. Um, this was originally on our plan to do because we didn't want the chickens all in our house while it's being built. But being that we just lost the duck um, a few days ago, uh, we thought we should get this out sooner than later. I'm not quite sure what killed that duck, but at least this will stop any ground predators from getting in. So what we have here is uh, we have 300 feet of 48 inches tall, so four feet tall, poultry netting. So poultry netting has a much tighter net so the chickens can't just uh, like sneak through like a, a cattle panel, for example. So we're gonna try to open these up and start building our fence. Electrozon. Electric fence? No touchy. No touchy, hi. To make it look a lot easier on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> oh. The truth comes out. Ooh, these are hot. I know, that's why gloves. Oof. What is that noise? Who's here? Ten. Come. Ooh, it's a machine. It's a machine truck. <laughs> So we'll start, we'll probably tie it to the ICB tote. Okay. Oof. So this is the gate? Yeah, this is, a, I think it's a four foot gate that's supposed to be easier to go in and out of. So I believe, ooh, that's rock hard here. All right, I believe it goes like this. And then here. Yeah, that makes sense. Locks in. Yeah, cool. And then this connects to your, mm -hmm. your gate. So we'll put this by the chicken coop. So you just have to do this. And that. Yeah. And it opens. Okay. Well, that makes it easier than taking sure. it out of the earth. Well, and it, yeah, and you're gonna like- To get in there, because we still need to go in there and the kids are gonna wanna Play in there. We'll just have to make sure it's turned off. <laughs>
we've had the fence installed for about a week now. Um, and uh, since it's been electrified, they haven't really jumped over too much. So it's been pretty successful, I'd say. Um, it's just getting used to and, and you know, turning it off and <laughs> so the kids don't shock themselves. Um, I have been shocked once and it, it wasn't fun, um, but it wasn't that bad either. So um, I think for now, this is gonna work great and hopefully we have no more losses. We got this fencing from Premier One and there's so many different options and I wasn't quite sure which one to get. Um, and on their website, it does say, if you're not sure, give us a call. So I did. And uh, I asked, said what I was doing, how I wasn't really going to move the fence too much, how this was for poultry, but I'd like to use it in the future for goats, etc. And this was the fence that they recommended. So uh, if you're in the market for some electric netting fencing, and you're not quite sure what you need, go ahead and call Premier One, super helpful. And uh, you know they were able to get us everything we needed, uh, build my own kit um, in just a short period of time.